What I want to do with this shadow, if I'm going to try to treat this properly, is I'm going to try to show, like I was telling you, imagine that this isn't just a one value all the way out to wherever it fades away, but it has a gradation, even in the smallest area. So I want to show that it's getting darker as it disappears under the cat. And the thinner of an area that I have that is going to tell you how tight that cat is on the floor. So if I see a shadow over here that's fairly wide, I would be very uh, wise to not make that shadow as broad as that. This one starts tightening up. It's much thinner. I'm sorry that it's so difficult to see. Um, on this one, you can. This means that this is farther away, I mean, you know, lifted up off of the floor surface. This is lifted up off. There's more space underneath there. This is actually touching. And so there's very, very little uh, uh, shadow opportunity. And I want to try to show a gradation even though I only have that small space. If you can get to the place where you're just conscious of that and it's a natural thing to always make what's disappearing, where it disappeared, to be the darkest, your drawings are going to take on a whole new level. Now, obviously, in a tight place, I'm going to have to make sure that I have a, uh, a, a sharp pencil. So then I'm going to have to have practiced my stroke so that I don't end up by just making little, uh, you know, uh, you know, hard, abrupt little strokes. I want to still, even within those tight strokes, not only show a gradation, but a taper. But I want to be able to show an edge, so that means that when I'm drawing here, I, I want to not have spaces, or I'm going to be very diff it's going to be very difficult for me to show that this is going underneath that cat's chin or jowls or whatever. So it's much easier if I can go like something like so, because then I get to start crossing over and actually making uh, you know, something a little darker as it gets towards that edge. I hope you can see that. I have a tendency to draw, you know, pretty tight and small because I'm talking tight and small. And so I'm making it a little bit bigger. But uh, so I want to make sure that when I'm doing this, I can create something that's pretty clean, even though it has a hairy edge. And if I lift up on my stroke as I come away from that edge, I'm going to be able to demonstrate that it's getting lighter as it comes away from underneath of that cat. And if I use my taper, it's going to be much better. And if I've learned how to do it in a very tight place, I'll be able to do something like this instead of suggesting that maybe there's more space there. The cat may have had its head lifted off a little bit. So if I find that I'm getting too much, I want to be able to utilize both ends of the spectrum and take maybe a little bit of it off with my eraser and create that tighter, less shadow. Now, if I end up by coming in here and I'm breaking up that edge and I have too much light, guess what I get to do? I get to, and and these are things that I would, I would probably do uh, not just one tiny little place if I can help it, but these are things that I might work on this whole uh, bottom edge of the cat and then come in here and do this all along and then look for the brightest parts within that area.